Hey guys, welcome to another Open Layers tutorial. Um, so this will be the second tutorial. In the first one, we covered how to set up a basic Open Layers map, how to change the layers to do a little bit with the zoom, and how to center the layer. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short tutorial, and I'm just going to show you how we can add a second layer. Okay. So if you remember at the end of the last video, um, we did the stamen layers with the watercolor, and I did something like terrain. Oops, let me double click that one. Let me select this here. And I had something in there that says in my terrain labels. And so it was like this. And remember the map didn't show up, and it's because it only contained labels. So we're going to start out with our code from last time. We're going to start with watercolor here. So let's use the statement watercolor layer. Okay, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to open this up as a web page just by double-clicking my HTML file. Okay, and you can see here um, that I'm over Utah, so that's the Great Salt Lake there. There's no labels here. So um, let's go, and we're going to add a second layer that shows the labels for this. And it's really easy to do. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, we have this new uh, OL layer. We're just going to make another layer. So we're going to do, and we'll move over. So we'll do new ol.layer.tile. Okay. And we'll do source, new ol.source. And we're going to use stamen again. And the layer we're going to use this time is going to be terrain labels. Okay. All right. I need to put a comma up here because we have two layers in this list now. Um, and so this should add labels to our watercolor. So you can see here we have this list of layers. And what we have in this list is we have our watercolor layer and our terrain labels layer. So let's save this and then let's go open it up again. And we have a problem. So let's figure out what that could be. And if we go back to our code, you will notice that I spelled labels incorrectly. So let's see if that does it. Let's save it. Um, and we can just go refresh this page actually. I think we still have an error. Here's our original. I'll go back and just double click the index file again. And we still have a problem, so let's go see if we can figure it out. And you will notice that I misspelled source. I forgot the R in there. A lot of typos right now. Let's save that. Uh, let's try to refresh this. Okay, now we refreshed it. Initially, we don't see any differences between these two. But if I zoom out, you can now see, I can see Grand Junction, Colorado. We have Mount Peel there. So you can see that we have some labels on there. Now give us um, added context for our map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this code up on the website. It's tutorial, so you can copy the code. Um, it's not up there now. Um, check below in the link for this description, and when there's a, a link to the code in the description, that's when you'll know it's up. Um, so hopefully that will have it up soon. I've been really bad about updating things on the website lately. Uh, it's been crazy, and I just haven't taken the time to get those posts up on the website. So I do apologize for that, but I'll have this up soon enough so that you can, you can view it. Short tutorial today. We'll keep working with open layers uh, in the coming weeks. And if you have things you want to see with open layers, or if you have other tutorials you want me to do, please feel free to leave a comment below, and I will see if I can get to those. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.